let's check out Bing AI. First step is to open up Microsoft Edge. From here, if we go to bing.com, you can see right up here at the top, there is a chat button. Another option is to go to the top right, hover over the Bing chat icon and open it that way. And below the search bar, you'll see different examples of things you can ask Bing AI. And if I press try it, that is another way to launch the chat. Keep in mind, you do need to be logged into your Microsoft account to continue. So regardless of how you decide to launch the chat, this is what you're going to see. The first thing you want to focus on is the conversation style. We have three different options. We have creative, which is more imaginative and unique responses. We have more balanced, which is informative and conversational answers, and then more precise, which is clear and fact-based answers. Once you choose one of these, you can go ahead and type in a prompt. If you don't want to type your questions, you can also press this microphone icon here at the bottom and speak to Bing AI. Why is Bing AI the best chatbot? Bing AI is capable of generating imaginative and innovative content such as poems, stories. And as you can hear, Bing AI will actually read out the answer to you, which allows for a conversation. Another cool thing Bing AI chat can do is generate results based on the images you upload as a guide to prompt questions. To do that, we'll press this icon right down here that says add an image. I'll simply paste a link. And now I need to ask a text-based question to go with the image. As you can see, it analyzed the image. It then realized that it's related to Divi Text AI and then provided the necessary information with different sources that we can click down here to learn more. Oh, and real quick, if you haven't heard about Divi AI yet, you need to check it out. It's absolutely game changing for building websites. Going back to Bing, if you check out the top right here, you're gonna see recent activity. This will store all of our conversations right here. If we wanna delete them or get back to them, they will be stored on the right-hand side. One of the cool things about Bing AI chat is that it will provide follow-up questions based on your conversation. So we said, hey, explain this image to me. What is it about? It said it's Divi Text AI, it's an advertisement. So now the next couple of questions it recommends are, what are some of the features of Divi Text AI? How much does it cost? Is there a free trial? So without me even putting in any effort, I can continue the conversation. And if you'd like, you can hover over an answer and you get a slew of options to choose from. The first two are like and dislike, where you can rate the actual response to let Bing know if it was good or bad. The next is copy, which just makes it a lot easier than trying to do this and getting rid of all the source info and all that fun stuff. The next is export, which is actually a really helpful option. You could export it to Word, Word Online, PDF, or just plain text. Then there's a share button, which allows you to share a link, and you can do that via a social network or even email. And the final option is super useful. It's continue on phone. So maybe you're doing a project and you'd like to continue that on your phone, no problem at all. You'll notice down here, it says two out of 30. And what that means is that when using your Microsoft account to access Bing chat, you could have 30 chats. And that is counted there at the bottom right corner. Let's say we're done with this conversation. All we need to do is press new topic at the bottom left. And as you can see, it wants to start over as well. Now that we have a good understanding of Bing AI chat, Let's check out some example use cases that might get some wheels turning in your head. A lot of people use chatbots to generate copy for social media, their website, and so on. So here's an example of utilizing the creative conversation style and asking it to write a poem about the advancement of artificial intelligence, and we want it to sound like Shakespeare. And don't worry, for your sake, I am not going to attempt to read this entire poem. For this example, I want a five-day travel itinerary to Switzerland. It should be affordable, easy to walk around, and have good public transportation. And the results are super cool. Another cool option is to ask for answers to be formatted in a certain way. In this example, I want it to compare AI writing software, but I want it presented as a chart. And as you can see, it's doing just that. Of course, you could see it did struggle with some line breaks, but regardless, it gave us all of the different sources it used and we could fact check it if we need. Another great option is coding. In this example, I'm going to ask it to write a program to calculate monthly payments for home loans. Now, here's another interesting thing. I accidentally mistyped and spelled monthly wrong, but that didn't matter. It knew what I was talking about. And just like that, it provides AI generated Python code that I can use 
to do exactly what I asked it for. Another example is to create AI generated images using Dolly 2. I can simply say, hey, what would dogs playing American football look like? As you can see, it starts to generate the image. And I like that it actually says, hey, that sounds like a fun and cute idea. I'll try to create it, which is weird because it's AI. <laughs> but look at that. The result is awesome. Of course, there are a million different use cases, and I highly recommend you check out the blog post linked below. You'll see examples where we use it to solve math problems, improve grammar, create custom food recipes, and so on. And we also have a list of tips that you need to know for using Bing AI chat. But as far as this video, that's going to wrap it up. Be sure to check out all of our different AI videos on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more like it. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.